Hello, my name is Kate and this is The Culture Shake Hands, the show where I experience Chinese traditional culture and introduce it to friends from all over the world. Chinese civilization is one of the oldest in the world, bearing the history of over 5,000 years. Rich culture and long history have preserved multiple Chinese treasures for Chinese nation. Today, I'm here to explore Chinese architecture and Chinese ancient buildings, and I came to the place called the Kunz Palace Museum. Let's explore it together! Prince Kunz Palace Museum is the only open to public and the best preserved princely residence of Qing Dynasty in Beijing. Built in 1780, it once belonged to He Shen. However, in 1851, it was passed by to Yixin, also known as Prince Kung. That's how the residence got its name, Prince Kung's Palace Museum. There is also a saying that this palace saw the history of Qing Dynasty from its start to its decline. That's why there is a saying that the Prince Kung's Museum bears the history of half the Qing Dynasty. The Prince Kunz Museum consists of two parts, the garden area and the residence area. It has three famous spots around here. One of them is still carved with the Chinese character Fu, meaning fortune. The other one is the Grand Theater Indoor. The third one is Xi'an Man in the Garden. Behind me is the place known as Yin Yan Hall. And this is the hall where the prince's family held major celebrations and ceremonies. I found a very interesting detail here, which is called the ventilating brick, used to protect the column. This means that this building has a column behind it. Let me show you. So this is how the column looks like. So that ventilating brick is used in order to protect it from water. The building behind me is called Xijing Study, which used to be the residence of He Shen. This building was built by He Shen himself and was known as the first most luxurious building of the whole Beijing, as it used really expensive materials known as Nan Mung wood. Back at the time, these materials were really hard to find and were considered very precious. Behind me is the rare building, which is the longest building in the whole Kunstpalace Museum. Its length reaches 189 meters, and the building has over 100 rooms inside. If you look at it a little bit closer, you're going to find out the design of every window is different. You know why it is so? Because He Shen kept all of his treasures inside of this building, so he knew what treasure was hidden behind that window. Behind me there is a pond in the shape of a bat, that's why it's called Fu Shi, meaning blessing in Chinese.
The Grand Theatre House can hold up to 200 people at the same time. It is said that the whole building did not use a single nail. Due to its fine acoustics, the Beijing Opera can be heard in any corner of the theatre. While walking at the residence and the garden of Prince Kunz Museum, I realized the beauty and charm of Chinese architecture, history and culture. I hope that you can pay a visit to Beijing in spring, the most beautiful time of the year, and enjoy this beauty yourself. If you would like to learn more about Chinese architecture and ancient buildings, follow our website china.org.cn and subscribe to our channel The Culture Sit Down with Wang Xiaohui. See you next time!